Oh man, we come back with a brand new video. I rebranded Flatly Talks channel today. I talk about everything, anything. Call of Duty, video game related, does not matter to me. This video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Guys, use code Flatly, get $20 off your SeatGeek purchases. And tag me on Twitter when you do so. Uh, and I'm out of here. Let's get into this thing. All right, listen, St. Peach or whatever her name is, the titty streamer, if you will. I don't even know St. Pe uh, I don't even know what she is. But I did see some good news about her. I mean, this is what she looks like. I thought she had a Fortnite skin, but that's a different girl, apparently. That's like Juice Girl or something. I don't know. But St. Peach says this. Decided to address this more publicly since people keep asking, but I have quit doing the more lewd platform. Decided to step away was a hard decision, but my mental health, happiness, relationships with family, friends, and God have felt so much better after quitting. Thankful for the opportunities that has given, but I'm happy with my decision. Hopefully, you all understand. Listen, I understand completely. Uh, I didn't really know who you were. I'm actually really, really proud. I, it's sad to say that there's going to be a lot of stuff like this coming out this is just getting the ball wrong i'm going to be real with you guys these girls are now understanding that these lewd content is going to hurt their real life relationships i mean you could look at um mia khalifa riley reed they, they'll tell you this all the time even um the girl that was dating mike malak alana road they'll tell you this stuff all the time in the adult industry your personal life is extremely affected right now i'm not saying these girls are dumb but especially for the majority of people in these industries they kind of do it as a quick cash grab i'm get the bag real quick i mean sure go ahead secure your bag but if you're just doing this because you think it's gonna get you the bag you're dumb because you gotta market yourself and everything like that but uh, it's a little rant out the way there's a lot of girls are gonna be coming forward like this saying it's a mistake nobody's gonna want it and it's gonna make their dating life so much more harder i mean there are probably genuine men out there that won't mind that kind of stuff but it's just gonna be so much more harder to explain that away and family relations and all that kind of stuff because basically your ass is on the internet now moving forward mr b Beast. Mr. Beast is getting sued. A hundred million fucking dollars, bro. A hundred million dollars by the people that make Mr. Beast Burger. I don't know the story behind it, but I'll, I'll, I just saw I just saw it. Shout out to Mr. Beast. Please uh, help our boy through this. He's a good guy. He's one of the good ones. Oh, we got the OnlyFans girl. The airport band. This OnlyFans model over inappropriate cyberpunk edge runners cosplay. And listen, there's a time and a place, okay? I don't think... This was in the United States. I'm gonna be real. But uh, she had the Rebecca outfit or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Teen Chan was running late to an event and decided to save time by wearing her planned cosplay to an airport. And that decision ended up really costing her. It's in Brazil. Uh, there's different laws there than there are here. I'm pretty sure if she wore this in America, no one would give a f bro. But I mean, here she, look at, bro, look at, this. she got the yeah on her, god damn. But like, look at bro, just put an overcoat on or something. She matched her teal hair. The model opted to wear a black bikini to the airport and was promptly banned from boarding her flight due to the cosplay not being appropriate. That's actually kind of crazy to me. Who gives a f what she's wearing? But at the same time, that is not America. That's that American mentality that we're better than everybody. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it was kind of crazy to me that that would happen. I, she she addressed the situation. She posted like several photos of her at the airport. The shenanigans and shit going on. I tried to, I tried to board the Nevengantes. I don't know how to say that. Airport dressed as Rebecca's cosplay for an event. She explained, uh, I knew I could be late so i got dressed so i wouldn't waste any time and could get there straight away now that does make sense it makes about as much sense as uh your your luggage is too heavy so you put on all the clothes inside your luggage and they wear your luggage again and they say oh it's perfect fine you're on a plane even though you're wearing the same amount of clothes that was already in the luggage but the luggage is now somehow lighter and you still have the same weight going onto the airplane it doesn't make any sense this doesn't make any sense to me i just let the girl go but i understand there could be kids on there moving forward kai sanet bro kai sanet denounces the new york city rioters in return to twitch b Beyond disappointed so he went live yesterday i didn't catch the stream because i was i was outside i was doing real life shit i was outside mowing my lawn and i saw kaisen i went live last night it was like seven eight o'clock at night or something like that and i guess he addressed the whole new york city uh issue with the ps5 giveaway and everyone just rioting at uh the main square even um cash jensen or the guy that does the apartment tours in new york made a video on this which was actually insane to me i didn't even think he was going to make a video on this, but he, like, lives around the corner or something like that. Kai Sinet returned to Twitch days after being charged with inciting a riot as a giveaway stream went all right. Uh, all re I don't know how to say that. On August 5th, the influencer denounced disruptive members of the crowd and claimed none of that was his intention. Now, I can say this isn't Kai Sinet's fault, but at the same time, I can also say it was his fault. Because that problem would have never happened if he was never there. But then again, if it wasn't Kai, it could have been anybody else. The, the where it was in New York, I don't know, I'm from New York, but... Where it was is just a mass hub. Every single fucking A-Town train meets in that station. You know what I'm saying? You could get there from anywhere. They got electric bikes over there. Everything, bro. You, that place is the hub. Every, there's always something going on there in that part of Brooklyn. Always. 
always it's extremely busy it's extremely loud it's extremely overpopulated so i'm not shocked that this kind of thing happened it's just a matter of time honestly but Twitch streamer Kaisen had decided to host the giveaway at Union Square on August 5th with PlayStation 5's up for grabs amid his IRL broadcast that day. Hundreds of fans soon flooded the streets of New York. Now it's very easy. It's extremely easy, right? Like extremely easy to get to that part of the town. I'm not going to lie. It's extremely easy. Like this straight up, like straight up. Now moving forward, we got, uh, we got our girl. It's uh, a little sad. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to make of it. I honestly don't. It's, it's kind of upsetting and sad to hear that she passed away. But now, apparently, the police department is saying that she never did pass away. The Vancouver and Los Angeles Police Departments have denied they're investigating the death of Lil Tay. Claims that have no record of her death and have not been alerted of her death. I'm assuming this is another thing from her parents. If she actually is dead, that's upsetting. That really is upsetting. But uh, that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out of here.